Hey everybody, this is a short video introducing operators and definitions in Racket. Say we wanted to do a simple operation such as 6 minus 4. This doesn't quite work in Racket. As you can see by the error message, Racket expects an open paren before the function call. To call any function in Racket, we start with a left paren, the function, and then the expressions we wish to give the function. We close it all off with a closing paren. And now it worked. When in doubt, always start with a left paren. Go ahead and try calling any other operator, such as plus, multiply, or divide. Always start the function call with the left paren, the function, and then the expressions you wish to give it. The operators can take as many or as little ex numbers as you wish to give them. Remember to always close your function call with a closing paren. Racket reads the numbers from left to right, applying the operator as necessary. When we want to store data under another name, we use the function define. As with other functions, we start with a left paren, the name of the function, and the arguments it takes. So, for example, if we wanted to store the number 5 under the name 5, we would write that as left paren define 5 as 5. And once we hit run, we can now use this definition throughout our program. For example, we can add 5 and 2 now. The syntax for defining functions is a little different from defining variables. As you can see, there is still the beginning and ending paren around the define, but there are also opening and closing parens around the function name and arguments and the body of the function. Say we wanted to define a function called add5 that adds our previously defined 5 to any number we give it. We would start this with an open paren, define another per pair of parens around add5 and its input, hit enter, another open paren with a plus 5 and input, and then close it all off with closing parens. We can now call this function like any other function. We start with an open paren, the name of the function, any inputs we might want to give it, and then a closing paren. Alright, I hope that helped understand some of Racket's basic syntax. Until next time!